Welcome back to the class of physics. This is Ramesh. In this class, we are going to discuss about Hallwag's observation. Mr. Hallwag, he is a German physicist. He gave the explanation for the spark produced in the uh, Hertz experiment with the help of with the action of ultraviolet rays. Okay, what his observations are? Let us consider. He is taken. He is taken. Um, a zinc metal plate. This metal plate is made up of zinc, which is mounted on an insulating stand. This is an insulating stand. Due to with the help of this stand, a zinc metal plate is mounted on the insulating stand. And another one arrangement is that this is what the gold electroscope, gold leaf electroscope. This is a gold leaf electroscope. This gold leaf electroscope is connected with the zinc plate with the help of a conducting wire. Okay, this is the arrangement Mr. Hallwag made. <coughs> when um, ultraviolet rays are irradiated to the zinc plate, some observations are he made. What are the first one? When UV rays, when ultraviolet rays are irradiated, irradiated to the zinc plate, neutral zinc plate, there is no charge here. This is a neutral zinc plate. Yeah. In this neutral zinc plate, when ultraviolet rays falls on it, incident on it, what happens? <coughs> this ultraviolet rays becomes, when, when it strikes the zinc metal plate, it becomes positively charged. It becomes positively charged and this charge flows through the wire and reaches the gold leaf. And reaches the gold leaf electroscope. Due to the same charges on the two leaves of the electroscope, the electroscope will open. The electro because of the uh, electrostatic repulsion, that means positive and positive charge repel each other, so the leaf becomes open. So, what is the reason behind this? Why this zinc plate becomes positively charged when UV rays are incident on it? That is one question. In the second, in the second observation, there is a charged zinc metal plate. Here the charge is negatively charged zinc metal plate is taken. Now the UV rays are allowed to incident on the negatively charged zinc plate. Then, then when the ultraviolet rays are allowed to incident on it, then the negative charges in the zinc plate becomes, becomes less. The negative charge in the zinc plate becomes less. <coughs> Their number becomes less. Due to the less number of negative charges, there is a lack of negative charges, the repulsion between the two leaves of the electrostat electroscope becomes smaller. Due to this, the, electros the, <coughs> the electroscope comes together, it's, it, it comes together, it comes closer because the repulsion is smaller. Why the repulsion, <coughs> why the repulsion between the two leaves of the electroscope becomes weaker? Because there is a, there is a lack of charges. What is the reason, reason behind this? I will tell you. In the third case, when an ultraviolet rays is allowed to incident on a positive charge zinc plate, positive charge zinc plate, here the charge, the positive charge on the electroscope becomes increases. The spreading of positive charge between the two leaf of the gold leaf electroscope increases. Due to the increase in the same charges, there is increase in the repulsion. So, so the gold leaf electroscope, the two leaves open further. Open further. Okay. So, there are three observations. Here, the leaves become open. When an ultraviolet rays is allowed to fall on the uncharged zinc metal. Here, ultraviolet rays is allowed to fall on the negatively charged zinc metal plate. Then the leaves come closer because of leakage of the charges. Here, when an ultraviolet rays is allowed to fall on the partially charged zinc metal plate, then the leaves become further open. When then the leaf becomes further open. What is the reason behind these three? These three observations, what is the reason? The reason is only one. That means when ultraviolet rays are allowed to fall on a metal like zinc 
and electrons are removed from the metal because of the UV rays there is an electron emission takes place here so the electrons are emitted from the metal surface consider here it is uh, we are taking what we are taken uncharged metal plate in the uncharged metal plate equal number of positive and negative charges are present due to the electron emission due to the electron emission electrons are some electrons are emitted so the number of positive charges becomes more so it becomes positively charged plate and the leaf becomes positively charged due to the repulsion it opens the leaf the two leaves become open that is the reason in the same case the reason is same that means when UV rays are allowed to fall on the negative charges in plate the negative charges that means electrons are emitted here electron here also the electron emission takes place due to the electron emission electrons are emitted so there is a lack of electrons because here the charges negative charges are leaks away leaks away from the zinc metal plate so there is a lack of electrons so because of the lack of electrons the the two leaves of the electroscope come comes closer the two leaves of the electroscope comes closer that is the reason in the third case also the reason is same here also there is the electron emission due to the ultraviolet rays incident so here the electrons are emitted this is a positively charged zinc plate if the electrons are emitted from this plate more number of positive charges are produced or created so this plate opens further because of the electrostatic repulsion more number of positive charges are produced so the number of the positive charge increases the repulsion so the leaf opens opens further that is the reason so Hallwerk observed these three things so what is the conclusion here he made it when when an UV rays when an ultraviolet rays is incident on a certain metal there is an emission of electrons okay when an ultraviolet rays is incident on a certain metal like zinc there is a emission of electrons this led to the discovery of the new effect that is photoelectric effect which we are going to discuss in the further classes okay i hope all of you understood this concept very well uh, we will meet in the next class till then thank you my dear friends thank you